This looks pretty cool, eh? All these uh, flat deck trailers lined up here, some with loads on, ready to go. All nicely lined up on their uh, on their dollies. It's awesome. And their landing gear. And a uh, bunch of trucks here waiting to pull them. Some others in the background there. See a couple of the, or at least one truck spawned in here from my uh, classic truck pack. But anyway, where we are is a new yard in Missoula that's uh, the handiwork of a uh, good friend, Recon Lobster. And uh, man, the guy just knocks it out of the park. And so this is, i um, going to tell you more about this at a future date because this isn't quite ready for release. There's still some uh, things to be done here. But uh, Recon said I could give you a sneak peek. So um, let's uh, we'll just drive out to the front of the yard and then I'll pause the video and I'll go pick up the load and we'll carry on with the trip. But uh, we'll, we'll get into the details in the truck, the trailer, the load, everything then. But uh, so there's, uh, so you can own it. And in this uh, building on our left is the service bay. And uh, that's pretty cool. That's another look at it from this end. Oh yeah, there's, uh, I think that, is that that dirty old Pete or that's an SCS one, I can't tell. If that one's from the classic truck pack or not. So this is based on a real trucking company. And there's something sort of cool down that road to the left, but we'll save that for Turn another day. So, yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. All right, I'll, um, I'm going to carry over and get the load, and uh, I'll be back with you in a little bit. Well, there we are. We're back. And uh, got our 555 cat on here. Uh, skid steer, or skitter, sorry. <laughs> skid steer. And uh, we're heading down to uh, Idaho Falls, I believe. So uh, that should be a pretty good trip. Let's get rid of my keyboard there. And uh, John Root is uh, 389 here. Alberta Heavy Haul Skin on uh, Pingus Traverse Hydraulic with the Alberta Heavy Haul Skin on it. And uh, yeah, let's do it. Um, brakes. I've got this, uh, problem is I, I wanted to make a few more skins. I got three skins for this trailer and I made my own personal little pack with them. And, uh, I want to publish it up on Steam, but I was kind of waiting until I had a few more trailers in it. And with everything going on, <laughs> I, uh, I'm behind the times on it, but I'll get it done. It's kind of nice having a trailer you can do a, a skin pack for. So you can see the shop in the background there. That blue building way over there on the right of those trees. That's where we came from. Now the trucks in the backyard. There's the ones that were in the corner, the yellow in the background there. Turn right. Cool. Very cool. So the deal with that is uh, there'll be a real company uh, sign out front. Yards, turn right. And I'm going to try and come up with a skin turn right. for them. Now their real company logo or skin thing was you know, kind of a logo slash company name. It's just going to be in white. I'll probably just do like uh, some white stripes or whatever and the end user can make the uh, truck color uh, After 100 yards, turn left. Paint, paint it whatever they want. Turn left.
can't remember if I've done this trip down to Idaho Falls from uh, uh, Western Montana yet. I guess we'll see if things start to look familiar. <laughs> see if we find any of my old Easter eggs along the way. So we got the C fifteen six N Z in here again. Keep left. Pretty sure the skin uh I put this skin on steam. Yeah, I, I'd have to check to be sure. Oh, I guess we have our beacons on. This thing's hanging out the side of the trailer a bit. Yeah, that movie, A River Runs Through It, was supposed to be set in Montana. It was filmed in uh, just outside of Calgary here. But the terrain isn't a whole lot different. In this area right here. You get west of town. Just going in the tunnel there. Hey, let's see. I wonder if there's an exit to the tunnel over here. We'll get to see. Probably. I just don't want to crash. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Crashing was a very real possibility there. <laughs> Yeah, pretty excited about that shop, and uh, boy, um, the sound of things, I think uh, Recon's got some nice plans coming up for his future expansion additions to uh, Montana DLC. It's looking really good. pretty loud on this thing. I've got to go in, I guess, every... Uh, exit right ahead. Every profile is going to need a sound level adjustment after I change the uh, settings on the PC. That's a quick on ramp.
I kind of wanted to do another uh, hard parking V doubles, but I don't want to wear that out. We'll uh, do it again soon. I think we'll try and get that uh, double uh, box trailer into a, a harder to park situation. Probably hit the audio button and turn that turbo down a bit. It's pretty loud in there. So I guess we're heading south uh, to Wyoming. Are, uh, are we going to go through Wyoming? Or straight into Idaho? Hmm. Have to look at the map. Yeah, it looks like that Lincoln we saw dead on the road in the last video. <laughs> right there on the right. Body of water out there. So that yeah, I think I mentioned it's pink is uh, traverse hydraulic. That's a pretty good uh, scenery here. Yeah, so uh, what we're going to do, that paint job, I uh, did a practice paint job today on the uh, KSW 352, because I haven't touched it in a long time. And the template, uh, the accessory template deal has changed. And the new XML file identifies what all the uh, accessories are, whereas the old one, it didn't. You just had to, you know, all. It's just a guess, really. And there was 
like I can't remember, I think I counted them one time. It was around a hundred little items to check off that you had to select paint for or not. And it was ugly. Like those KSW skins that I've done in the past, they took an awful long time to do. Inordinately long, considering they're, you know, just looks like a fairly simple skin. And uh, so I put the Montana Express skin on the one 10 inch cabin 352 and uh, it came out okay. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to publish that one anytime soon, but I'm definitely going to put that new skin on the 352 and get that thing out on the road again. I haven't driven it in a long time. I think one of the very first videos I did way back was in the 352. When I say way back, it's not even a year ago, but I'm not even sure how long ago that was. But it's um, time to get back in that truck. Excuse me. So we'll try and do this uh, new paint scheme. We'll do the debut with it. I hope I can sort that out about the same time uh, Recon is debuting the name for the company. Now we're getting pretty close. We've only got uh, 25 miles to go and we're in Idaho. 25 miles? No, we got about 12. And if the rate it goes by out here, we're going to be there in seconds. See, where are we? Is our home garage around here somewhere? I'm trying to remember Idaho Falls. Um, no, I don't think it's right around here. Where is it? It's back there. Oh, I forget. <laughs> oh, boy. We're sure coming in and out of Idaho Falls a lot with that uh, butt the spot thingy or whatever the Go big straight. potato haul, the world of trucks thing uh, last year, or in the spring, whenever that was. Oh, that's nice there. Wow, it looks great. This big weir along there. Ah, wow, look at that, eh? Go straight. site there. I wonder if that's on the map. Let's uh, hop in. Oops. 
Nope, that's not on the map. Okay, where do we need it? Oh, okay. In that side shed there. I've been in this yard in quite a while. I remember this has the rear trailer axles fairly far forward on the trailer. It'll steer pretty quick once you get it going. Uh oh. Messed it up. Steer quick. Perhaps it's going to steer pretty quick, and I steer it pretty quick. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it. Safe and sound in Idaho Falls. That little intro of uh, this upcoming shop at the beginning. It's going to be cool. And uh, like I was saying, I think uh, old Recon, he's just the tip of the iceberg yet for him. Guy's got some serious creative uh, juices flowing there. Well. There we are. All done. I forgot to even look at the fuel consumption. I was so uh, consumed with this, <laughs> with all this stuff Recon's doing. Anyway, this is, uh, oh man, what's not to like about this truck? Uh, Rudus 389. You look at the price of a lot of mods out there, and a lot of them are 35 and 45 and 65 and 110. And look what you get for 25, you know? And. The thing, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but uh, I don't know if it ever become a topic, was that his trucks in the past, like a year or more ago, you would buy them uh, and you'd have a Facebook link and you'd have to remember the link and yada yada every time there's an update. And now with his website, you just go on his website, log in, you look at your account and there's all your downloaded trucks. So every time he downloads one, log on to his website and there's your downloads download the new ones there's no fuss no muss if you hear through the grapevine that the, the update is out 
you don't need to contact anybody just log in and do it and it works uh, unlike some other ones that like to mention that don't work worth a darn and uh, the trucks cost more so anyway <laughs> there's a mini rant <laughs> anyway well thanks very much for traveling along guys appreciate it and uh, appreciate to uh, some, get some more new subscribers here and thank you very much and to all you long-termers thanks so much for following along appreciate it we'll catch you on the next one take care and bye for now